So today what we're going to be doing is backing up our OS drive automatically as simply as possible. And a special thank you to all my patrons. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life, and I'm Jeff. And so today what we're going to be doing is backing up our OS drive the simplest way as possible. This will only give you one copy of your OS drive. So what I would suggest is doing it once first, and then taking that disk out, and then moving on and just putting one in regularly. And I'll explain what that all means here in a second. So now to do this video, of course you need a computer and it doesn't really matter what kind, it just has to be your server, whatever that is. And so however your server is set up, if it runs from an SD card like a Raspberry Pi or a hard drive like just about every other computer, what you'll need is a, another SD card or another hard drive or USB drive that is the same size or bigger as your current, current OS drive. So how we're going to get this to work is for the Raspberry Pi, because it uses an SD card, we need a USB SD card reader. Put our new uh, SD card in there and then plug it back into our Raspberry Pi. If we have a server that uses a USB drive, or one that uses a SSD or a hard drive, what we're going to do is install that into a USB enclosure and then plug the appropriate one in to the back of our computer. So all we're going to be doing is copying from our OS drive directly to whatever USB drive is attached. And then all we do if we want to use the backup is just pull that out, insert it, restart the computer. So let's take a look to see how we do that. So we need our OMB up and running. We're going to open PuTTY, log into our server, and this is a Raspberry Pi, so we're going to log in as Pi and our password. Next we want to make sure our USB drive or device is plugged in. And then we're going to go to PuTTY and type in LSBLK, hit enter. And so here you can see there is our boot disk and there is our extra drive that we just installed that we want to copy the boot disk to. And here you can see this one is 29 gigs and this one is 29 gigs. All we need from this is the name of the disk that we're copying from and then the name of the disk that we're copying to. So then if we take those two things, so we type in sudo dd space if equals slash dev slash and then the name of our disk that we're copying from and then slash dev slash the name of the disk we're copying to. So here it's mmcblk0, mmcblk0 to SDB, to SDB. So once we found that, then we go to Schedule Jobs. We click Add Job. So next what we're going to do is just change our times here. So change that to midnight. And the day of the week is Sunday. And then we're going to switch this to monthly. So now it should run monthly on a Sunday. And now this command that we have over here, we're going to copy that and paste that in. Then save and then apply and yes. And then we can click on that and we can click run and then start. And then this will take a few hours to run completely. Uh, be patient. It's going to take a long time the first time. Uh, what I would suggest, if you have an extra disk, so say you have an extra SD card, run it once the first time and then pull that out, put your extra SD card in there and put it back in and then let the script run automatically. 
And so why we're doing that? Well, SD cards can only, and USB drives, can only have uh, so much writing before they wear out. So this way you have a automatic backup, but also you have a spare there. And you can do this with any of them. And I would suggest uh, rotating out your SD cards, USB drives, uh, periodically. So once that's done, then we can go back to PuTTY, type in LSBLK again, and hit enter. And then the two drives should look exactly the same now. Then uh, basically, if you want to test it, you just pull it out the back, or well, turn off your server, of course, first. Pull out the one on the back, pull out the one on the front, switch them, and then just start it up and it works. That's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.